Hello, how are you doing? Today I just thought I'd do a quick video about uh, the backpack that I'm currently using uh, for my wildlife photography. Uh, so for a number of years um, I've used low pro bags uh, for all of my photography. Uh, so I've been using this bag which is um, it's a Whistler BP 450 all weather bag. It's a great bag, it's very durable. Uh, made of really nice kind of waterproof material, uh, quite spacious. And the thing that sold me uh, first of all about this bag was the fact that it had quite a big front pouch. It could be used to store wet weather gear, lunch, binoculars and various bits and pieces. However, whilst it's a lovely bag, um, I think it costs about uh, £350, £375. Um, find it very comfortable. The only problem that I had with it um, was, just get in the back here, was space. Okay, and it all really started um, when I got the Sigma. 150 to 600 lens. Once I had that lens in my bag, you can see that there wasn't a great deal of space for anything else. Okay, I could maybe get one or two lenses here, um, but it really only gave me one side to store um, photography bits and pieces. And I was just finding it really frustrating, very limiting not to be able to take much gear with me. So, about a month ago, uh, I purchased a new bag, which is this fella. This is a bag made by a French company called Tragopan. Um, I first saw it being used on a friend's vlog. Uh, Espen Helland makes lots of wildlife vlogs. Um, extremely good, I'll put a link below and, and you can check out Espen's work. Um, so yeah, it got me curious as to whether it would meet my needs. I was quite intrigued by it. I looked for reviews on uh, the internet and on YouTube and there wasn't too much. There was a few reviews of the bag in French, um, but nothing really that convinced me either way that it was going to be suitable for my needs. So the bag retails for about £150, so it's more than half the price of the low pro bag that I was using. When it arrived I was pleasantly surprised by the quality and the versatility of this bag so I thought it would just be a good opportunity to kind of run you through some of the features and why I've chosen it. So to start with let's talk about the space because that's uh, the main problem that I was having. So there's a big main compartment here two large zips um, all of the zips are uh, YKK zips uh, very good quality and they all have uh, small pulls on them uh, so that you can grab them with gloves or in wet weather etc so looking at the main compartment um, I'll just put my camera in there Okay, so you can see here uh, some of the bits and pieces. So I've got my main camera with the Sigma 150 to 600. Uh, up in the top here lives my GoPro, Hero 7 Black. I've got a 300 millimeter fixed lens here with a 1.4 teleconverter. Um, here I've got uh, remote cables and shutter releases, etc. Uh, and I also use that for time lapses. Over here um, I've got an audio recorder and I've got another lens here which is a wide angle lens. So this is a, a Sigma 24 to 35. Um, a very nice lens and just allows me to capture wildlife 
in the environment uh, and with a bit of context. Uh, I've also got a, a camera trap, a wildlife cam uh, that lives in there. So quite a lot of space in the main compartment. There's also a zippered area where you can put memory cards, um, lens caps, other bits and pieces. So what I really liked about the Low Pro, as I said, was the big deep pocket that was on the front of it, which allowed me to carry extra clothing, uh, hides, uh, camo net stuff that might be useful uh, kind of when I'm out on a trip. So the Trager Pan here um, has a big deep pocket. It doesn't open uh, fully in the same way that the Low Pro does, but that's actually quite useful because it means when you open it out, uh, everything's not falling everywhere. So in here, um, I've got a camouflage netting, um, first aid kit, small vlogging tripod, some squim netting, my binoculars, uh, a Gore-Tex wet weather jacket, uh, a sit pad, so just so that when I'm sitting on the grass or ground etc, uh, I don't get soaking wet bum. Um, some buff, and then I've got uh, a macro diffuser, some gloves, a waterproof cover for the camera, uh, another buff, and some more gloves. I think that's about it. So quite a lot of gear swallowed up um, in that front pouch. And that pouch, when it's not in use, can actually be zippered down um, so that it has a, the case has a smaller profile, which I find really good. On the front, so you have the, um, the long access one here, which gives you access to that pouch. Inside there, there's a couple of small pockets, um, which you can put useful bits and pieces in. Let's say I don't tend to have too many loose bits and pieces. They also have uh, a couple of zippered pockets which open out with kind of um, some material either side, again, so that stuff doesn't fall out. In there, I have a small video light and a lapel mic, which I use for my vlogs. On the back, there's a zippered pocket and on the front, there's a zippered pocket. Then there's another pocket down here. This one opens up fully again. And there's, uh, again, there's fabric on the sides, like a nylon fabric, which just stops falling, stuff falling out when it's fully open. In here, I've got a head torch, uh, memory cards. If I've got anything else, that's about it in there. Uh, another small pocket on the front. And another one below. So tons of pockets for lots of bits and pieces. On the side of the bag there is in here a stowed uh, rain cover which is really useful and because it's attached to the case it's always there should you need it and not at home which is where my old one tends to live. You can put a tripod on the side here. There's tripod loops uh, to keep the legs uh, against the side of the case. And then the other side, there's a pocket. Um, I've got a, a spare divider in there, but you can put a water bottle in here. Uh, or again, the tripod can mount on the side through the loops and the tripod feet could actually sit in that pocket if you wanted to. Really good, um, thick padded straps, really comfortable. Uh, there's webbing on the strap, which goes to the top of the bag to make it adjustable and also to support some of the weight because uh, this is a heavy bag once it's fully, fully loaded. Um, there's, this to me is a bit of an annoying feature, the lumbar strap. It would be handy actually if these lumbar straps could be removed from rucksacks because it's just fine they get in the way. So I have mine permanently fastened and then when I wear it, it just sits behind me. Um, I don't find it too much of a problem. As I say, I would just prefer to, to be able to make it removable. 
Having said that, when I do need to use it, um, then it's, it's very comfortable and does its job. Um, there's lots of D-rings and things on the strap so you can attach things. And then underneath the bag, just here, it says straps underneath, um, webbing straps with quick release um, buckles. They could be used again to hold a tripod um, or sleeping bag, tent, hide, uh, whatever you wanted to do. So there's lots of attachment points on the outside for carrying gear, uh, which is a good thing. There's a nice sturdy handle on top, um, gives, gives a really good hold. I've been using it for about a month. Um, I found it very comfortable. I can cram so much gear into it. It does make it very heavy when it's full, but I'm not too bothered about that. I'd rather be able to just put everything in one bag um, than have multiple bags or have to make the decision to leave stuff at home. So all in all, it's a, it's a really good bag. The bag, as I said, it's a Trager pan. I think the model is, gra is um, the Grouse. On the website, the Trager pan website, it advertised it as being a brown color. It's actually a, a greeny, um, kind of khaki color. Uh, there is a hint of brown in it, but it's, I wouldn't say it's brown brown, it's kind of a greeny brown. So I didn't buy uh, the Tragapan bag directly from Tragapan. Uh, I bought it from Amazon. Uh, Tragapan have a shop on Amazon. It meant that I could get it Amazon Prime, next day delivery, and Amazon are pretty good uh, if there's any problems with the, the item. As I said, I hadn't seen many reviews, uh, hadn't had the ability to see one myself, so it was quite important to me that if it wasn't going to be suitable, that I could send it back. But here we are a month on, uh, I'm definitely keeping it. £150, it represents really fantastic value for money, really good materials, um, a durable, well thought out bag. At some point I may do a what's in my bag, although you've kind of seen some of the contents, it's, it's all over the table here, but perhaps a more detailed look into what I use and why I use it. Um, meanwhile, if you like the video, please subscribe, uh, hit the like button, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.